Hi, my name is Michael, and welcome to the Chalk Curriculum Tutorial for Administrators. This video will equip you with the knowledge and skills that you need to manage your unified curriculum environment within Chalk. This video is separated into five sections and is perfect for any administrator that's coming into Chalk and just wants an overview of how you can navigate as an administrator. The first lesson will focus on creating accounts and setting up permissions for others within your institution. We'll start by going through the basics of setting up your account, as well as some general navigation within Chalk so you know how to get around. At the end of each section, we'll make sure to pause and give you an opportunity to try out what you learned before you move on to the next section. Let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we're going to want to do is go to our email inbox and look for an email from the Chalk team with the subject line, Welcome to Chalk. Once you found the email, go ahead in and scroll down until you see the Click Here to Get Started link which you want to click on to get started on creating your account. Before we do that, let's take a look at some other information in the email here. More specifically, our in-app live chat hours. These are great times to log into Chalk and access someone from Chalk directly to get questions you have answered. Once you have selected Click Here to get started, you will be brought to our setup page, which looks something like this. If you're having trouble getting to that email, we highly recommend going to your web browser from your computer and type in chalk.com to be brought to our main page. From here, select Login from the top right corner, and you can type your email address here and click the Login button to get the welcome email resent to your inbox. You can also feel free to use our Forgot Password link shown here, where again, you'll type your email address and we'll send you an email to get started with Chalk. If you are experiencing any trouble with logging into your account, your best bet is to use the live chat in the bottom right corner, where we're available to help in the hours outlined. Just let us know what your question is and we'll be happy to help you out from there. Once you've gotten into your setup page, start by typing in your name here, and then set and confirm your password. You will use your email and password to access Chalk from now on. We also recommend that you turn on the email notifications so that you can be kept up to date on all the updates and improvements that we're making to Chalk Apps. Once we click Continue, this will bring us into our Chalk account. Now that we're in our Chalk account, let's go over some general navigation. The first thing I want to highlight is the live chat, which is in our bottom right corner. Once you click Start the Chat, this will connect you with someone at Chalk who will be able to answer your questions or help solve an issue. Other than that, you will want to know where the main navigation menu is, which is in the top left corner. When I select these three horizontal lines, which represent the navigation menu, we'll see all the different apps that we have access to. This includes Planboard, which is our lesson planner, Markboard, which is our gradebook, and all the other apps that Chalk offers. Now, as an administrator, you probably don't need to go into Planboard or Markboard, as you won't be using them directly but know that they are there if you ever want to explore them and see what it looks like from a teacher perspective. You'll also notice you have your dashboard. If you select dashboard, you'll notice that you have all the same options that are in the main menu. It's up to you if you prefer to go from the dashboard or use the menu in the top left corner to navigate, both bring you to the same spots. For now, we are going to focus on admin, which is available from our main menu here. If you're finding that you don't have admin shown in these menus, please reach out to us directly, either through email or the live chat, and we'll be happy to help you from there. We'll now go through what it looks like to create additional accounts within Chalk. Starting from your admin app, if you select users on the left-hand side, you'll be able to see a list of all the accounts that are currently within your institution. So if you want to add additional people to this list, you want to make sure that you provide that information to Chalk directly by either emailing support at chalk.com, or if you have a customer success manager who's been assigned to your account, you'll want to email the information directly to them. To make that a little bit easier, we've prepared a template here that outlines the specific information that you'll need, starting with the first name and last name of the individuals you're adding, then the email for their accounts, followed by the title, as well as the permissions you would like them to have in Chalk. Now, if you're not 100% sure on what permissions you'll need, don't worry, you'll be able to go in and make changes to this as you move forward. We'll now take a look at the different account permissions that we can set up. But before we do that within Chalk, I'll give an overview of the three different account permissions available for curriculum. 
The first of these is Curriculum Viewer, which is the base level access you'll need to give for someone to have access to curriculum within Chalk. With this permission, they can go in and look at published maps, but they can't make any changes. So they can't create new drafts, they can't create new maps, all they can do is look at published maps, which is perfect for anyone who you want to have read-only access to curriculum. The next permission level is Curriculum Creator. So this is for someone who you want to be able to go in and make changes to existing maps, as well as create new maps from scratch, but you don't want them to have the ability to publish those maps and make them available for everyone. This is perfect for users that you want to give access to create curriculum, but you want to be able to review the work before it has been published and made official. The last option is Curriculum Publisher, and this is going to give full access to everything within curriculum. Users with this permission will be able to see the maps that are there, can create new drafts, make changes to existing drafts, and they can also publish any of those drafts and make them the official version of that curriculum map. With these three permissions covered, let's see how we can access these and assign them to users within Chalk. So now we're within our admin app and we're looking at our users list on the left hand side here and can see all of the accounts that currently exist within our institution. To change any of the permissions, we're simply going to select an account and on the list on the left hand side we can see the three permissions we just went over. So starting with viewer, we can turn that on by clicking here. If we turn on creator, that will supersede viewer. So if I have creator, then I can do anything a creator can do or a viewer. And again, if I have publisher turned on, then that means I have full access. So for example, if I have all three of these turned on, the exact same thing is if I just have publisher on. So knowing that the highest level is going to determine what permissions that account has will help you in getting all of your accounts set up correctly within Chalk. If you ever have any questions about this or want to make changes and are having trouble with that, please don't hesitate to reach out to us using the live chat in the bottom right corner.